I first made my millions of dollars. The first time I ever became a millionaire was with webcam studio. Oh, really? I know that. Yeah, this is how I first ever made money. I mean, I was a kickboxing world champion, but kickboxing is not boxing, right? Yeah. So I'd make like $100,000 a fight. You fight two or three times a year. You pay 20% to your manager. You pay taxes, but you're not rich, rich. Grand chunks, what, twice a year, maybe three times a year. Living in London, London mm -hmm. rents, need a car. Mm -hmm. You're trying, you know, like you're not rich in any way. And that's actually the reason I retired because I woke up one day and I thought, I'm giving six hours a day of absolute focus and energy to this. And I believe I'm smart enough that if I put that much tenacity into something else, I can be a multimillionaire. I truly believed that. I was like, I've realized now I've reached the pinnacle of kickboxing. My choice is either to change over to MMA, which I was offered to do earlier in my career. But at the time, the kickboxing contract paid more money. I had to pay the bills. So I went kickboxing. Change over to MMA, learn to wrestle, change over to UFC, blah, blah, blah. But this is also like seven, eight years ago where even the UFC didn't pay the money it pays now. I want money. What is money? <laughs> How do banks work? How does credit work? What's fractional reserve banking? All these things we now know to be the biggest cons of the century, right? So I'm sitting there researching money for days and days and days. And then I get more mad because I'm like, whoa, 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 money's trash and I don't have any. Now I'm really, now I'm really annoyed, right? I thought, I thought like everyone else did that, you know, everyone puts their money in the bank and the money, the bank takes some of other people's money and lends it out. I didn't know they invented it from the sky. I still, I still at that point thought money was linked to gold. I didn't know nothing. So I'm learning all this stuff and I'm getting really angry. I'm like, now this is really annoying me. So um, anyway, I, I got out a piece of paper there and I'm in my research phase and it started to start writing down some dude on YouTube. I don't know who he was, some dork. He was a pro gold guy. This is before, I mean, Bitcoin was probably around then, but like early. He was a pro gold guy saying, buy gold, buy gold, buy gold. And uh, he was saying the difference between an asset, a liability, et cetera, et cetera. So I started trying to write down what I had. I was like, I have an apartment, I have a BMW. I can, I'm in good shape, but I already use that for fighting. Uh, you know, what can I do? I can play chess. I'm just writing down the things I have and what I'm good at. And then I kind of realized, I was like, I've got like eight girlfriends. <laughs> but because because I was traveling the world and if you win you get a ring girl it's kind of like just she, she's banging the winner right you win a world title you get to choose the ring girl you want it's pretty easy right so I had a girlfriend in Slovakia I had a girlfriend in France and the guys who are talking to you need to find you uh that you need to remember their name remember their dog's name you have to be smart you can't just be a girl and be a bimbo me naked and make money you have to be really smart charming interesting happy all the time positive mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm going to try this. So I messaged all five of my girlfriends, told them I had a job for them, explained them what I was going to do. I was going to launch this company. Four of them agreed. All four flew in, sat around the same table. They're all like, who's she, who's she, who's she? I'm like, well, you're all my girlfriends. Two more left. And, and then uh, two stayed. And that was the beginning of my little uh, attempt at a webcam empire. And I, I put the girls there. And, and my role in it all was I did all the tech side of stuff, which is the first thing, of course. And then also, and I get called a pimp a lot. But I, and the reason I use the term is because I don't see it as a negative term. I see it as positively inspirational and motivating person. I was, I'd motivate the girls. I'd make sure they did their job properly. If they had a bad day online, I'd come up with a good excuse for them. Oh, it's been a football game. It's been really busy. Don't worry. You're so beautiful. Don't be upset. You did better than her. She, she you did the best today. Did a, I keep everything organized, put the schedules together, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, is it hard? It's hard because women have to want to work for you. Okay. Women have to want to obey you. That's okay. what's hard. And you don't do that. This is one of the biggest misconceptions. I really want to cl clear this up. People in the movies and stuff, pimps are like aggressive, mean men. Complete opposite. Pimps are more like James Bond. James Bond's a pimp. He sleeps with a girl to get information. He doesn't care about her. He is absolutely not really a pimp. He doesn't hit her. He makes her love him. She does what he wants. He uses sex as a weapon to reward her. And then he disappears. That James Bond is absolutely not really a pimp. So I say pimp because everyone calls me a pimp online, tries to go, ha ha, you're a pimp, like I'm gonna get offended. It's like, no, beautiful women wanted to work for me and they wanted to work for me because I displayed supreme, supreme competence. And they knew if they worked for me, they'd make a lot of money. So whenever I was out, I'd, I'd meet a waitress and say, well, you're, look, you're working 10 hours a day for pennies. You can work 10 hours a day for me, make 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month. And over time, I just build up this big, this big little em empire of webcam girls. At one, one point I had four locations, 75 girls working for me. Corruption. She hasn't got the motivation. She's just lazy with it, right? And women have a very different mentality to money than men. If you show a woman how to make $1,000 in an hour, she'll think, I only, have to, I only have to work an hour a week. Whereas if you show a man how to make $1,000 in an hour, he thinks, ah, I can make $18,000 a day. That's the difference between us. So if I had a girl working for me making 20,000, she got 10, I got 10. If she quit, she'd make three for herself, if that.